Amen. Amen. It could have been Amen. the other way. Amen. 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 Again, we welcome all of you to Flight Zero Two 2024. God has allowed us to see another month. Not only another month, but a brand new day. And we salute him for his grace and his mercy. We realize we could be nothing without him. Every breath, every walk, everything we do is because of his grace. That's right. And I'm thankful that his grace is sufficient. And is made perfect in our weakness. Amen. So we greet all of you. We know it's raining. Amen. But it did not stop God from blessing us one more time. And I'm grateful to be in service one more time time. Amen. So we greet all of you in the master's name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. And I'm surrounded by the three amigos. Well. Amen. Well. Pastor Brown, Pastor well. Rayford, well. and myself being the youngest well. of the three. Well. And we're just so grateful for all of you. Well. Our deacons doing the devotion, our well. choir doing our selection, our ushers who are on their post, well. and you, the congregation, well. Who are here to celebrate with us for our deacon and deaconess celebration. Amen. It's great to be able to serve. Amen. Come on, help me, somebody. It's great to be able to serve. Amen. Amen. So you look at your program just to highlight a few points. Amen. Again, you're here at Friendship Missionary Baptist Church. Highway 431 South, Falula, Alabama. Again, we honor our deacons and deacon wives and deaconess. Amen. Here, February the 4th, 2024, 11 o'clock a.m. Our theme, stay the course. Theme scripture. This is a faithful saying. In these things, I will that thou affirm constantly that they which have believed in God might be careful to maintain good works. Mm -hmm. These things are good and profitable unto men. Titus chapter 3, verse number 8. And again, we thank y'all for celebrating with us, for those who are serving. It's not just the deacons. It's all of us who are called to serve. We're celebrating them today. But we as a body, we celebrate all of us who are taking active in the role of serving our Lord and Savior, yes, Jesus the Christ. It's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. It's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer.
pray, Father God, we come now in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. We come yes, now, Father. Father God, focusing all our efforts on you. I ask you to, Father God, continue to wipe away all of our troubles, all of our situations now that we may hear from heaven. Father God, let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable in thy sight. For Lord, you are our strength and our redeemer. It is in your master's name we do pray and we do say amen. Amen. Amen, and amen again. Amen. Amen to the preachers of the gospel, to the deacons from various churches, and to all of you, my father's children. Amen to the choir, to the ushers on their posts. Again, this is our celebration of Deacon, Deacon Wise, and our Deaconess. Again, before I take my text, again, the theme was from Titus 3 and 8. It said, this is a faithful saying, and these things will that thou affirm constantly, that they which have believed in God might be careful to maintain good works. These things are good and profitable unto men. And our theme was simply stay the course. Uh -huh. And as I have that theme in mind, I would like to turn to one particular passage of scripture to go along with stay the course. Uh -huh. And that scripture comes from John, the gospel of John, chapter number 19, and just one verse for your hearing this morning, and it's verse number 30. Just one verse. And again, as you turn there, we know this word or this particular passage of Scripture to be one of the last sayings of Jesus, one of the last seven sayings of Jesus. And I thank you, my brothers and sisters, it's fitting that we need a faithful example to follow. We need somebody we can look to to help us on this Christian journey. Yeah. We need to know somebody have made it to the other side. Uh -huh. Listen, I, I'm, I used to run track. It was good to hear somebody right. say you could do it yes. because they already done it. Listen, uh -huh. if you have never done it, it's hard for me to tell you how to get to the other side. I'm, right. I'm, I'm not even in my text. I'm just trying to set it up for you. Uh -huh. Listen, I need somebody that's already been there yeah. to help me to get to the other side. That's right. Again, John chapter 19, mm -hmm. verse number 30. Yes. It said, when Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, he said, it is finished. Mm -hmm. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. Yeah. Amen. Oh, you may yeah. be seated. Yeah. Again, these few words, it said, when Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, he said, it is finished. Mm -hmm. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. Uh -huh. For our celebration period on today, I would like to use to go along with stay the course. Finish what you started. Well, yeah. All right. Yeah. Finish. <laughs> What you started. As I recap on last week, as we look at the Sunday school lesson for last week, Paul presented to us that we all have gifts and that our gifts are to be used correctly. I use the example of the hammer don't say to the screwdriver, let me turn the screw. No, the hammer said, let me nail the nail. Mm -hmm. And he said, the screwdriver said, let me unscrew the screw. In other words, what Paul simply is saying is, use your gift correctly. Now, why would Paul say this? Because in Romans chapter 12, verse 14, he reminded the people that we all have a position in the body of Christ. That's right. Just as the physical body has all of these members, has the hands, the arm, the legs, and the foot, the head, the eyes, and the ear, they all have their position. Uh -huh. Listen, the eyes don't say to the ears, what are you hearing? No, the eyes say, listen, I'll be the eyes to see where we're going. Uh -huh. And the ears will say, let me hear what you're saying. Listen, all uh -huh. I'm simply saying this morning that in order to serve, you got to know your position. That's right. You got to know your position. You got to know your gift. Uh -huh. 
Because we all don't have the same office. That's right. But Paul says, for we have many members uh -huh. in one body, Correct. and all members do not have the same office. Mm -hmm. That's right. But we are called to work together. Uh -huh. Let me put it to you this way. Matthew 9, 37, 38 said, Then said he unto the disciples, The harvest is truly plentiful, mm -hmm. but the labors are few. Yes, but he said, Pray ye therefore that the Lord of harvest, that he will send forth the labors into the harvest. So today, right. my brothers and sisters, we set aside the time to honor those who God has called those who he have chosen to serve him and others. Yeah. When we survey the roster, there have been some inside this sanctuary right now who have been on the battlefield for the Lord a mighty long time. Well, Listen, right. and we are serving him because we know there is a reward that is in store. Listen, we're not working for free. No, we're working because he promised us a great reward well, for everyone who enters over, who cross over the finish line. There is a, not a medallion, but there is eternal life well, for everyone who cross over the finish line. That's right. So let me set the stage. Uh -huh. We all have a race to run. That's right. We must start and then you must finish what you started. That's right. It is true that the race is different, but the goal remains the same. All right. Listen, it's not how you start, That's right. but it's how you finish. Well, <laughs> Listen, right. we didn't all start at the same time, mm -hmm. but the reward is still the same. Uh -huh. Listen, I can't say it. What Mother Upshaw said, because she started a whole lot longer, long ago. Well, that's right. But I can use her wisdom today to help me to get to the other side. Uh huh. For some, the race is difficult. Uh huh. For some, there are stumbling blocks. Uh huh. For others, there are trials and tribulations. That's right. And if I were called the roll, for some, there are some setbacks. Uh -huh. There are some failures. There are some disappointment. Uh -huh. But still, you must cross over the finish line in order to receive your reward. That's right. Listen, when it comes to serving the Lord, mm -hmm. we must remember that the Lord never promised that the road would be easy. That's right. That's right. Sad, sad. But he did promise uh -huh. that he would never leave us, yes, nor will he ever yes, he forsake us. Yes, Listen, yes, wherever the Lord leads, don't you know he will provide? Yes, he will. He'll always be right there. Because yeah, right. if we call the road from Sunday school, Isaiah said, Listen, the Lord has not forgotten about you, That's he right. knows right where you are. All you have to do is be patient. And wait on him. And he will. He will deliver. So as I listened at Deacon Beasley, I leaned over to my friend and said, he must have looked at my notes. Because Deacon Beasley began to talk about we got to love. And then when I listened to Mother Upshaw, she must have looked at my notes. Because she said we must love one Another. Uh -huh. So my brothers and sisters, I choose the book of John to help us uh -huh. to understand our yeah. race. Because throughout the book of John, which is known as the love book, uh -huh. it reminds uh -huh. us that serving one is love is the main ingredient that helps us to serve. Well, Listen, right. you can't serve if you don't have love. That's right. All right. Because love helps us because love covers a multitude of sin. Yes. Listen, yes. you look at the word love. I, I know I like acronyms because people know I love acronyms. The word love. Love is being loyal. Love is being obedient. Love is being victorious. But most of all, love is enduring. That's right. Yes, yes. I choose this because many give lip service. Mm -hmm. That's right. But love is Amen. what 
It does. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Not necessarily what it says. Because well, uh -huh. a lot of people say they love, mm -hmm. uh -huh. but they're not doing. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Say that. See, you could have stayed home this morning when you seen the rain uh -huh. coming down. Mm -hmm. But love lifted you. Yeah. Love yeah. led you to your car. Love right. said, I need to get to friendship. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's what love do. Love will help you serve even yeah. when others do not want to serve. That's right. I'm only talking yeah. about love, y'all. Uh -huh. Because this is why I choose this passage of scripture. Because Jesus is love. God yeah. is love. Yeah. And when we look at yeah. this survey of the scripture, the sacrificial love of Jesus is why we all are here today. Amen. Because if it had not been for the Lord uh -huh. who was on our side, yeah. I don't know where we would be. Paul says it this way, but God commended his love toward us uh -huh. that while we were yet sinners, yes. Christ died yes. That's right. for us. Yes, Yes. Let me just call the roll mm -hmm. uh -huh. before we get to John chapter 19. Okay. Uh -huh. John 3, 16 said, For God so loved the world right. that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever uh -huh. believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That's right. Then later yeah. there in John chapter 13, verse 34 and 35, Jesus said, uh -huh. A new commandment I give unto you, right. that ye love one another. As I have loved you, right. that you also love one another. By this all men will know that ye are my disciples, yes. if you love one another. Yes. There later on in John chapter 15, verse 12 through 13. Just give me a minute, I'm going to get there in a minute. This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. Here's my favorite verse, greater love. Greater love. Yes. Have no man than this. That's right. yes. That a man will lay down yes, sir. Yes, sir. his life yes, sir. for his friend. Yes. The old yes. church would say, oh, what a friend we have yes. in Jesus. Y'all yes, yes, yes. oh, yes. don't hear me this morning. Yes, the old church said, oh, what a friend we have uh -huh. in Jesus. Yes, yes, All of my sins yes. and grief to bear. Yes. Oh, what a privilege it is. Yes. To carry everything. 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 Not something. Yeah. Not just a few things. Yeah. But he said carry everything yeah. to God in prayer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And there in John chapter 17, we move, we're making uh -huh. our way to our text this morning. John chapter 17, verse 1 through 5, yes. which yes. is known as the prayer of Jesus. Yeah, the word right. spake Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven uh -huh. and said, Father, the hour is come. Yeah. Glorify thy son, uh -huh. that thy son also may glorify thee. Uh -huh. As thou have given him power over all flesh, yeah. that he should give eternal life to as many as thou have given him. Yeah. And this is life eternal, that they might know. Thee, the only true God, yes. and Jesus Amen. Christ, whom thou have sent. Yes. I have glorified thee on the earth. Yes. I have finished yes. the work yes. which yes. thou have gave me to do. Yes. And now, O oh Father, glorify yes. me yes. with thy own self, yes. with the glory which yes. has with thee before the world was. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. yes. yes. So all I'm simply saying in all the verses leading up to our featured verse, yeah. running as Christian, the race, mm -hmm. it all hinges mm -hmm. on L-O-V-E. That's, That's right. That's it. it was love that lifted us. Yes, That's sir. right. Yes, and it is love that will see that's right. Us through. So let yeah. me unpa unpack the text just for a minute. As uh -huh. we walk the text, we come to the conclusion that Jesus, Jesus knew the future. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. And yes, that he did. Jesus knew his yeah. assignment. And in verse 18, it said, knowing that all things were accomplished, yeah. uh -huh. Jesus yeah. knew that his great work, what happened? Yeah. His life, his death, yeah. the work yeah. on the cross was now being Fulfill. Yes, That's right. Y'all help me this morning. I'm, yes. I'm simply, he said he knew yes. that everything yes. he had done, all the healing, all the delivering, all yes. the casting out devil, yes. all making the blind see. He yes. knew that all of his work That's right. now on the cross yes. was being 
fulfilled. Yes, That's right. Yes. But then he made preparation mm. to yield his life yes. uh -huh. and die. Yes. Yes. Which would complete, which would finish yes. the work that God had called him down from heaven in order to walk the dusty streets of Palestine yeah, and Jerusalem yeah, yeah, yeah. to do God's bidding is now coming to an end. Mm -hmm. yeah. yes, that was a time when all things were accomplished. Yeah, yeah. When Jesus actually began the target of God's wrath. Listen, you know the Old Testament said they had to sacrifice the lamb. Yeah, yeah. They had to sacrifice the goat in order for the people's sins to be forgiven. Yeah. But now, the Lamb of God yeah. is now giving his life so men could be free. That's right. There won't be, have to be another slaughter. Uh -huh. There won't be, have to be another lamb that have to go no. to the slaughter. No, it won't have to be no more. Now Jesus said everything is done. Yeah. What my father have asked me to do is over. Yes. Yes. Men can now seek righteousness. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Men can now seek forgiveness for their uh -huh. sins. Uh -huh. yes. Listen, he says all over, everything that the Father have asked me to do, mm -hmm. it is now over. Oh, yeah. That's right. The debt have been paid uh -huh. in full. Yes. All of your sins can be canceled out. Yes, right. Yes. The big eraser have come. Mm -hmm. To erase everything that you ever had problems with. Yes, uh -huh. sir. Yes, sir. You now can have a fresh start. That's yeah. right. You now can begin again. Uh -huh. The great substitute. Mm -hmm. The substitutionary. The one that came mm -hmm. to give his life for a ransom a many. Yes. Is yes. now giving his last breath on the cross. That's yes. right. Yes. And he declare it is over. It is it's finished. Over. That's right. Salvation is finished. Yes. Uh -huh. Ah, redemption yes. is finished. Yes. There is no more. Mm -hmm. But before we get there, Jesus say, I thirst. Let you know yes. when you're thirsty, what is he thirsty for? He's not thirsty for water. He's not thirsty for the wine in the sponge that they're giving him. No, he's thirsty for his humanity. He's thirsty because he realized that his very life can save the whole wide world. Yes, yes, yes. Glory be to God. He's thirsty. Yes, sir. He realized the worst is behind him. Yes. The price have already been paid. Uh -huh. yeah. yes. The piercing of his side and the blood coming out is now meant for remission of sin. Uh -huh. yeah. Listen, it's over. Jesus said, I've satisfied the Father. Yeah. It yeah. is finished. Jesus' final That's word right. is a cry of a winner because he realized what he's just done. Uh -huh. yes. Yes. Right before that. Mm -hmm. He reminds us uh -huh. that if I be lifted up, uh -huh. I'll, draw I'll draw all men. All men. Now, do that sound like a loser to you? Yes, right. no, not at all. That say if I be lifted up, uh -huh. I'll draw all men yes. unto me. Yes, uh -huh. Because he realized at that very moment yes. Yes. that his yes. father had all power oh. That's right. in his hand. Uh -huh. he, could take, he could face death. That's because right. he realized his father had his back. That's right. So I stand today as finished work. Uh huh. Jesus said, I stand today as all Christian peace and faith. He yeah. said, I stand today paying in full the debt mm -hmm. that we rightfully owe to God That's and right. making a peace between God and all men. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It was all finished, paid in full. It was all accomplished. You asking the question, preacher, what was done? What was paid in full? Jesus said it was, he said, all promises of God is now fulfilled. That's right. All prophecy now is Fulfilled. You got to look at it. Because Isaiah said he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquity. And the chastisement of our peace was upon him. He said, by his stripes, 
He said, by his stripes. Yes, yes. yes sir. We are healed. Yes. Jesus right. said the sacrifice, the ceremonies uh -huh. of priesthood are now finished. He said the perfect obedience of obeying the Father is now finished. Uh -huh. The sacrifice yes. Yes. of God's justice yes. Yes. is now finished. finished. That's right. But here's the key, though. Yes. The power of Satan and sin and death was all finished. Yes. Mm -hmm. So as we look at three things this morning before we get out of here, uh -huh. three things to consider, to consider about kingdom work. It's about staying the course. Well. It's about finishing what you started. Yes, the right. first thing Jesus reminds us as we go back is to start. Uh -huh. Listen, yeah. in everybody's journey, there has to be a starting point. That's right. Listen, nobody gets to the end before they start. Well, that's right. <laughs> when is the last time you saw a marathon runner start <laughs> from the end and go backwards well, and say he crossed the finish line? Uh, yeah. No. The man shot the gun and he started. Uh -huh. And then he crossed over the tape and they said he finished. In other words, finish means begin. Regeneration. Commence. Set out. And get going. In other words, I'm to encourage you today. You may be saying, listen, I'm tired. I, I just don't feel like going. Listen, you got to get going. Because there's much work to do. Listen, there's much work to do. There's kingdom work to do. Listen, there's a lot of witnessing that, that we got to get it done. Listen, it's no time to sit down. Pastor Rabel, we got to get to work. We got to get going. Because in every believer's life, there is a starting point. Yes, to is. being chosen to serve. I can prove That's it right. to you. Yeah. There in John chapter 3, we learned that in order to serve uh -huh. in God's army, Jesus declared you must be yeah, and you got to be born again. Yeah. Listen, yeah. all of our journey yeah. begins with spiritual yeah. rebirth. Yeah, I know uh -huh. your father and mother got together and that was a baby boy and a baby girl. Yeah, uh -huh. that was the start of your physical journey. But then yeah. there is your spiritual journey journey that you got to be born again Paul I'm simply saying it's what Paul says in 2 Corinthians 5 and 17 he said therefore if any man be in Christ he's a new creature old things are passed away and behold all things are become new but don't you know if you start something there's always a fight in the middle that's the fight. Listen, if you start on this spiritual journey, the devil is mad. He, yeah, he really right. don't want you to complete anything. Listen, uh -huh. he really wants you to give up and throw in the towel. He, he, he see what potential you have, but his whole job is to trip you up. That's where the fight starts. Yeah. All right. Listen, that, that's where it all started. Listen, the word fight simply means battle, contention, struggle, brawl, or even combat. For every believer declared to follow Jesus, you have a fight on your hand. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. Listen, many have fought to get here this morning. Yes. We could have easily stayed in bed. Amen. Amen. Yes. That's right. But we have to fight the temptation. Yes. They say, not today, devil. Yes, sir. Listen. I, I, I'm not going to give in to your temptation. I, uh -huh. I, I need to get to church. I, I have to yeah. get to church. They designed That's me right. to come to church. They designed me to be there. Because Jesus said, you need to be here. Amen. They, David said, I was glad when they said unto me. Yes, sir. Let us, Let us go, go into the house. Of the Lord. Yes, uh -huh. David said, it's your command to be here if you That's love right. the Lord. Yeah. Listen, let me go on. Because I want to take Paul's letter to conclude, to help us with this fight. Listen, uh -huh. you can't fight by yourself. That's right. But David says in Ephesians 6, 10 through 13, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. Yeah. That's right. And the power of his might. But he says until put on the whole armor of God. That you may be able to stand against the wild. What? What you say that? What you say? I can put on the armor? And it will help me to resist that old devil? You got to put it on. Because Paul said we wrestle not 
against flesh and blood, right. but against principalities, yes, against powers, yes. against the rulers of darkness of this world, yes. against spiritual wickedness in high places. He said, but wherefore? Take unto you the whole, not some, not part, but the whole armor of God. That's right. That you may be able to stand in the evil day and having done all, stand. And our third thing, not only to start, not only to finish, but to finish. All right. The start, <coughs> the fight, mm -hmm. then the finish. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. The finish simply means completion, mm -hmm. the end point, yeah. the termination, yeah. uh -huh. the conclusion. Yeah. Yeah. For every believer that have endured the fight, mm -hmm. it is good to step over the finish line. Mm -hmm. yes. Listen, when a boxer concludes at the 12th round, when the bell rings, he wipes his brow and said, Lord, I'm glad mm -hmm. I'm finished mm -hmm. yeah. with that bout. Uh -huh. yeah. When a marathon runner finished his last 26 point whatever miles, he says, wow, I'm glad I crossed over the finish line. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And for every believer that have endured the fight, it's a setup to finish what you started. Right. It seems like somebody sometimes nobody cares. Yeah. It seems uh -huh. like sometimes we get tired. Yeah. We seem yeah. like we get no pat on the back. Yeah. But listen, yeah. that's no reason to give up. That's you got to finish what you started. That's right. Because God is looking down on you that's and right. he will reward you for your benefits. Uh -huh. He will reward you for the work that you have concluded. That's I can right. prove it to you right there in Paul's letter to Timothy. Mm. 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 6 through 8. Paul said, I am now ready to be offered. The time of my departure is at hand. I have fought the good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Himfore, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. Not to me only, but unto all of them. Also, that love his appearing. Yes, that's right. Yes. So, what are you saying? Mm -hmm. As Paul ended his life, as he went to be to Nero's chopping block, yes. he knew everything he had done had satisfied God. Yes. He could face death realizing that everything he done was for the glory of God. Yes, uh -huh. yes, yes. And he reminds young Timothy to share in his expectation mm -hmm. that if you too finish what you started, right. there That's is right. a crown of life yes. That's waiting right. That's right. for you. Yes. That's right. yes. Well, Paul gives us some encouraging words. Mm -hmm. He said, don't give up. Don't give That's up. Right. He said, keep fighting. Keep fighting. <laughs> Keep going, yeah. keep yeah. believing, yeah. Right. keep praying, yeah. keep persisting, yeah. Yeah. and most yeah. of all, yeah. keep persevering. Yeah. And as we close out our celebration, yeah. I want you to encourage you, finish what you started. Yeah. Because right. Paul gives us a powerful conclusion. Yeah. There in 1 Corinthians yeah. chapter number 15, uh -huh. verse 57 through 58, yeah. Paul said, but thanks be to God. Yeah. Uh -huh. which give us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. Uh -huh. Therefore, my beloved brethren, yeah. be ye steadfast, yeah. unmovable, yeah. always yeah. abounding yeah. in the work yeah. of the Lord. Yeah. For as much as you know yeah. that your labor is not in vain yeah. in the Lord. Uh -huh. What is Paul saying? Paul simply saying, I write these words unto you uh -huh. because of the resurrection. Yeah. I write this word unto you that is you believe your work is not wasted. That's so right. Paul said, listen here, sometimes it seems like serving is for nothing. Yeah. But don't look at it that way. Even when you don't see no result. Uh -huh. He said, keep serving. He yeah. said, because Christ sees your good work. Yeah, he right. said, Christ yeah. sees your effort. He yeah. sees everything you're doing and he will reward you in the end. Yes, yes, he will. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, my brothers and sisters, uh -huh. as I conclude today, yes. 
The Hebrew writer gives us a powerful example yes. to follow. Yes, yes. Hebrews yes. 12, 1 and 2 said, Wherefore, Wherefore. seeing we also are compassed about with such great cloud of witnesses, well, yes, yes. let us lay aside every way and the sin which do so easily beset us. Uh -huh. And let us run with patience the race yeah. that is set before us, uh -huh. looking unto Jesus, yes, the yes, author yes, and the yes, finisher yes. of our faith, yes. who for the joy that was set before him endured uh -huh. the cross, despising the shame, is now set down at the right hand of the throne of yes. God. Yes. Yes. yes, sir. So, deacon, deacon wives and deaconess, mm -hmm. the Christian life involves hard work. Yes, it does. It requires giving up whatever endangers our relationship with God. That's right. It calls us to run patiently into the struggle against sin with the power of the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. He encouraged us today to live effectively, yes. but we must keep our eyes on Jesus. That's right. Listen, we stumble when we take our eyes off of him. Yes, that's right. If I was to call a witness, Peter would say, listen, I took my eyes because I saw the boastful storm. That's right. But Jesus was there to lead me back in. Uh -huh. He rest out his hand after I said, Lord, have mercy on me. I'm simply saying unto you, keep your eyes on Jesus. That's right. Why should we keep our eyes on Jesus? It's because of what he did. Yes, uh -huh. That he was arrested on Friday. Yes, sir. Yes. Because he was marched from Judgment Hall right. to Judgment Hall. Yes, That's right. yes, sir. It's because yes, sir. they beat him. They whipped him. They placed a crown of thorns upon yes, his yes, head. Yes, yes, it's yes, why we should keep our eyes uh -huh. on him. Because right. he is our example. When they put that old rugged cross upon his shoulder. Yes, and right. marched him up Gagotha Hill. Yes, right. Can you see him when they scratched him wide and yes, put nails uh -huh. in his hands. Yes, and nails in his feet. Yes. But he declared if I be lifted up. Yes. I'll draw all men. Uh -huh. Unto me. Yes, That's right. Yes, if that yes, wasn't sir. enough, uh -huh. they place him between two thieves. Yes. That's right. To humiliate him. Mm -hmm. The one thief said, If you be who you say you are, uh -huh. cast yourself down and save yourself. Yes. The other thief said, No, this man have done no wrong. Right. It is us that have sinned against God. That's right. yes, sir. Yes, sir. But he said unto us, Jesus, Jesus. save me. Yes. yes. And Jesus said, today you shall be with me yes, sir. That's right. in paradise. Yes, sir. And as our text says, as they pierced him in his side, yes. as he hung his head in the locks of his shoulder, uh -huh. he died. Yes, he did. He died for you and he died for me. Yes, uh -huh. But that's not how the story ends. Yes, sir. That's right. Because they placed him in another man's tomb. Yes, sir. Well, he stayed there all night Friday. Yes, sir. Well, he stayed there all day Saturday. Yes, sir. Well, he stayed all night Saturday night. Yes, sir. But early on that third day morning, yes, my Savior, my rock, my salvation, yes. my bread of life, yes, sir. my that's shepherd, right. yes. uh -huh. he got up. Yes, yes he did. With all power in all his all hand. Power. He's all now power. seated at the right hand of the Father. Yes, sir. That's right. In seating for you and I. Well, Do you uh -huh. believe that he rose on that third day morning? Yes, yes. Do you believe he's now in a seating for us? Yes, if you believe, say amen, amen, amen. 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 Because amen. we're standing all over the building. Amen. amen. This is our invitation to discipleship. We offer Christ. If you're looking for answers, if you're going through a test and you need answers, Jesus is the answer yes, he is. to every test you will face in this lifetime. Yes, yes, yes. You come by your letter, Christian experience, or even a candidate for water baptism, will that be one? As the choir prepares to sing, will that be one? Amen. You may be seated. God bless you. Thank you. I got my mind on the Lord. I got my mind on the Lord. Early in the morning, all through the day, I got my mind on the Lord. I got my mind on the Lord. I got my mind. Early in the morning, all through the day, I 
Father God, we come now thanking you for those you have chosen to serve. We thank you, Father God, that you will give us the strength and the courage to keep going on in your name. Father God, we know that the labels, Father God, are needed. But yet, Father God, you promised that if we pray, that you will send labels to help us in this vineyard. We pray for the deacon. We pray for the deacon wife. We pray for all deaconess, no matter what church they are. We pray that, Father God, that you will cover them and help them to serve. Father God, we thank you for your son Jesus, who served you faithfully, who did what you required of him, that he went to Calvary, that he died for our sins, that he was early, he rose on that third day morning. So we thank you for his life. We thank you for his sacrifice. We thank you for all that he did. Now may the grace of God, the sweet communion of your Holy Spirit, rest rule in the Bible does henceforth, now and forevermore, and the church says, Amen. Amen. Be blessed. Go in peace until we meet again.